Hello everyone, this is Shubhi Chaube and I have secured All India Rank 12 in IBPS SOIT Officer exam in the year 2019 with the highest score in professional knowledge. I have also qualified about grade A IT officer means. Um, I was getting a lot of queries regarding the descriptive section of NABA grade A IT officer and specifically the part English, we all know what kind of questions are asked, but the descriptive part that too from your professional knowledge. So what kind of questions could be asked? So I made a list of topics that you can um, take as a reference to prepare. And apart from that, yes, one more thing. What See, it's not a rocket science. What you have to do at this moment is whatever is given in your syllabus. You have to think about it that what kind of subjective questions could be asked from this area. So if your concept is cleared, you are not going to miss out on any question or you're not going to perform bad in any of the question. Uh, so my advice would be to focus more on concept building because NABAD is, uh, as we all know, it is highly competitive exam. And uh, here the question, the level of difficulty of the questions is higher as compared to IBPS SOIT officer exam. So um, if I talk about the previous years, so as I can see the questions in the previous years, um, then we had a question from SDLC model. So the question as simple as what is SDLC model and uh, explain the uh, phases that it has. Then uh, there was a question on write a note on the denial of service attack. And uh, this was pertaining to the cyber security section. So the questions are going to be like if you look at the questions you will see you'll think about that okay i have read it somewhere but that's not the point the point is how much conceptually clear you are uh, from those areas so let's start and discuss um, questions that are relevant to us and if you want more previous year questions or if you want the solution of the questions that i'm providing you you can write down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you out with that so i've taken a couple of topics and from those topics i have tried to prepare the questions that are probable in this exam. So let's say if I talk about the basics of big data, AI, ML, and then NLP, IoT. So what kind of questions uh, can we expect here? So first of all, as you may have heard of, K means algorithm. So a question uh, that can be framed from here is, explain the K means algorithm in context of clustering. How is it used in data analysis and what are its applications in the machine learning? So just try to write a model answer for this question. You can use it in other answers as well if, if it is a generic or something. Um, some points that you prepare right now, you can use it as fodder point for other answers as well. If it is related, don't write uh, unnecessarily. Then this could be one of the 10 mark question. Then another one, if I talk about uh, a bit detailed question. So um, a question could be, Discuss the key features of big data and Hadoop. How does Hadoop address the challenge of processing large volume of data? Provide real world example of big data applications. So always remember whatever you are writing in your means answer. If you can substantiate your answer with a real life example or with something application based. So it is going to give them an impression that yes, you know the real life implications the real life applications of this thing as well so it is going to give a positive impact then if i talk about data warehouse so what kind of questions could be asked from this area so first of all define the concept and properties of data warehousing now this is simple we all know this uh, keep it to to the point don't just beat around the bush now after this there is a second part to this question as well explain the role of data mart and how it differs from data warehouse Okay, now another question. Compare and contrast data warehouse and data cubes. Although this could be a little detailed, so I'm not, but yes, data warehouse and data uh, mining. These two things, they are commonly asked. So uh, you can just prepare an answer based on that as well. Uh, discuss the advantages of using OLAP and what is that? Online analytical processing over OLTP, that is online transaction processing in decision support system. Now one more very interesting question. It, uh, they can ask you about the decision support system. When you study this topic uh, in this uh, DSS is a very 
important thing to study so you sh just have to have a clear understanding and if you're not able to understand any of these things don't worry about it at all what you can do you can just uh, whatever terms let's say data warehousing data mining anything if you're not feeling confident about this thing so what you can do you can just search it on youtube the simplest uh, like the short uh, any short explanation of that uh, concept uh, you can find a lot of videos, a lot of informative videos where you can, you can actually, you can rely on those videos. So this happened with me a lot that uh, when I used to listen to something, I it was easier for me to learn um, instead of reading. So I used to listen to the lectures and even a simplest of thing, if it is, I'm going to like, if even if I'm preparing for something right now, what I'll do, I'll just search for that on YouTube and I'll watch a two minute video on that. Even it, if it is a half an hour video, I'm going to give that time to it. Because in that way, if I'm preparing for a descriptive exam as well, it is going to help me build a perspective about something. Okay, so this is how it works. This is how so it is going to be easier for me to craft an answer. So for me, I learn more quickly through videos, but it all depends on your uh, uh, way of learning so it's uh, it's not a generalized answer all right now if i talk about cyber security very common area from where the questions could be asked even in the year i appeared the question was there from cyber security so uh, describe various types of cyber attacks now when you prepare this answer you're going to get answer to a lot of possible questions because they can directly ask you about phishing. They can really ask you about um, social engineering. They can directly ask you about SQL injections. They can uh, directly ask you about any particular type of um, cyber attack. So I'm trying to give you a pool of areas. So like if you prepare an answer for this, uh, describe various types of cyber attacks, you'll get answers to a lot of questions. So describe various types of cyber attacks, provide in-depth explanation of social engineering attack and the methods that are there to prevent them. So if you have good understanding, I'm not talking about the bookish knowledge or I'm not talking about if we just mug up an answer. No, if I know that, okay, this is social engineering. If someone is uh, trying to get my password or get my information by any, like, it's not like any technical attack. It's social engineering as the name suggests. So how I can prevent it? I can be more cautious. A lot of things could be done. So if you want model answers to these also, you can write down. And one more thing, very important. You can join the Telegram channel. I'll uh, drop in the link to that channel in the description. So I'm, uh, whenever I'm getting time, I'm just posting a lot of MCQs there to help you all out with your preparation. As I can understand, the sources for IT stream are actually very less. So now, one more very important question. This is highly probable. So explain the CIA triad. What is CIA? Confidentiality, integrity, and availability, which is the most important concept in IT security. Okay, so in context of cyber security, you have to explain the CIA triad and you have to discuss the importance of control measures and two-factor authentication in maintaining the data security. Now, if I talk about the advanced networks, what kind of questions could be asked? So one, I, you can just note it down as well. Anyways, I'm giving all these questions, so no need to worry about that. So discuss the importance of cryptography in network security. Explain different levels of network security and the role of network device in protecting data. Then there is another question. Describe the types and significance of firewalls in network security. Explain the concept of IP address spoofing and URL spoofing. Providing example of potential security threats that are there. Another question from operating system now. Uh, define the concept of kernel in an operating system and explain the principle of time sharing system and um, give an example of that. And then explore the key components of process management, including scheduling, multi-threading, and describe paging, segmentation, and file management in modern operating system. If I talk about web technologies, so you can uh, create uh, or practice an answer on uh, MVC. So uh, explain the MVC that is model view controller architecture in web development. Provide an overview of HTML, CSS and XML and their roles in building the web applications. Another question from web technologies. Discuss the significance of a web browser and uh, applets in web technologies and how do um, those technologies facilitate interactive web applications. 
don't be afraid if you think that uh, some of these things are too difficult don't worry the questions would be simple we are just preparing for the worst and um, if we are prepared it is going to help you in the mcq section as well so no need to worry about that then software engineering so differentiate between coupling and cohesion in software engineering very important question this i cannot call a difficult question it's an easy one explain common costing estimation techniques that are used in the software development then uh, discuss the various types of uh, um, software testing and their importance in the software development life cycle provide example of situations where specific testing types are crucial now these are some areas from some of the topics um if i talk about uh, data algorithms and analysis design uh, that means ada so uh, they can ask you about explain the concept of time complexity in sorting algorithms okay we all know this is the time complexity of bubble sort this is the time complexity of selection sort but uh, what is the concept what is the why do we need it why do we calculate these complexities so what is the need in order to answer that you need to be clear with the basic concept of uh, this um, time complexity you can find an answer easily or if you don't let me know Uh, compare the and contrast the time complexities of different sorting algorithms such as quick sort mud sort bubble sort now in order to answer this question you will prepare one short short mcq like mostly short short mcq that is the time complexity of the algorithms so if you prepare for this it is going to help you in the uh, objective section as well now describe the principles of divide and conquer dynamic programming and greedy algorithm in the design of algorithm provide example of real world problems where each of these techniques is applied then uh, some miscellaneous topics are also there so uh, there could be a question of um, discuss the importance of numerical and statistical computing in data analysis not that important although um then uh, there could be a question on shell scripting is also to uh, I, i don't think it could be asked but obviously there is a probability so the question is you can uh, write down explore the basics of shell scripting shell commands and functions uh, with certain examples of shell uh, scripts and their applications in automating task if i talk about programming concepts so compare and contrast the fundamental concept of java python r and sql discuss the strengths and weakness of each programming language for specific task like in uh, there is a specific language for everything now if i have a certain kind of need i'm going to go for a certain language so that is what it is then explain the core principle of object oriented programming extremely easy extremely important and i think it is something um, i can call low hanging fruit so never miss this so encapsulation abstraction inheritance polymorphism all these things and you also have to provide the real world example to illustrate these concepts so it's very simple i don't think it counts as a 10 marker or 15 marker it's a easy question but yes we have to prepare the answer in such a way that they should be impressed with our knowledge level so these were some of the questions that could be asked i have a lot more i have made a list of a lot of questions but to start with i don't want to overwhelm you so just to start with you can um, try out these questions and if you need any help in uh, crafting the answers or um, if you need model answers for these questions you can join the telegram channel and for mcqs as well i'm uh, posting mcqs there so you can practice the questions from there so i i, I totally understand the importance of free resources because uh, we purchase a course and uh, then we feel that okay we don't have and a lot of additional material is burdened up na so i just want you all to remember that okay if you are studying from some courses that's very good but uh, for those who are not uh, no need to feel under confident because i know uh, for it stream it is really difficult to find material but please i really request you all not to be disheartened or demotivated by the fact that there are lesser resources available for it because we have the most um you can say powerful uh, tool that is internet we can access free material so you don't have to search for nabard bede it notes no no one is going to give you all cooked up specific topic pick up specific topic that okay so from this topic um you can uh, like i'll just give you an example let's say i want to study sorting techniques so i would go over the internet and i would search Uh, sorting techniques and i would uh, read it from java t point or um, this w3 school or there are so many good websites that we used to use in the engineering days now 
so those websites are giving you a clear cut idea of the concept and of course youtube is there to help you out to help you understand the concept so don't worry about that don't worry about the resources and if you need any further help please free and feel free to write down in the comment section thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you